Hey, Corey Martin here, former NFL linebacker and author of the book, Make a Touchdown of Your Life. Welcome to Touchdown Studio. So glad to have you. Hey, today I want to talk about being a game changer. Ask yourself, are you a game changer? If you were, if you were a, a fly on the wall and you were in your best friend's house and he or she were talking about you to someone else, would they say you are a game changer? Right? Are you living life to the fullest? Are you taking risks? Are you being innovative? Are you trying new things? Are you failing? But are you leaping? That's a game changer, right? Someone who marched to the beat of their own drum. Uh, someone who says, you know what? It's my time to shine and bam, I'm going to do it. Someone who has new ideas, new thoughts, and new ideologies that people might not agree with, that people might not like. But so what? Being a game changer is you living the life you want to live. Have the life you want to have. Being around the people that you want to be around with. Fulfillment, happiness, success, life. You know, are you that game changer? You know, are you that person that gets up day in and day out and balls to the wall? Right? Every day, you spend it all in the field. Every day when you leave the house, you spend it all outside the house. You come home. <laughs> I'm tired, man. I had a great day. You know, I went balls to the wall. Is that you? Is that you? And if it's not, why not? And what can you do to make it happen? So I came up with three ideas that I would think, right, a game changer has to be. Uh, three techniques, three tools that a game changer has to be. You have to have, right, to change your view, right? They always say the lead dog is the only one that has a new view, right? Are you being that lead dog? So let's talk about being a game changer, right? And, and the first thing, the first requirement to be a game changer is number one, are you Are you innovative, right? Do you have not new ideas, new thoughts? Do you have new processes to make things easier, right? To change the world. Well, I think of innovative, I think of Ted Turner, right, from CNN, the 24-hour news channel, right? When he first came out with that, I thought about that. People were like, are you crazy? Who wants news 24-7? But he did it anyway. That's being innovative. You know, what idea do you have in your mind right now? What thought do you have? You know, what goal and dream has been lingering all this time you still haven't laid hope to? Why not? Be Ted Turner. Be innovative. The second requirement of being a game changer, you have to be, you got to be relentless. Balls to the wall, day in and day out, and go get after it. That's being relentless. So I think of two people in mind when I think about relentless. I think of Michael Jordan, right? We all know his story, right? He was cut from his high school basketball team, and his mission was to be the best player in the world, and arguably, he's that guy. Secondly, I think of Jack Canfield and Mark Victor Hansen. If you know their story, they are the uh, creators and authors of the uh, book, uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul series. Um, <laughs> they were turned down by 144. Listen to me, not one, not 10, 144 publishers before 145 said, yes, I'll give you a shot. That's being relentless. Are you being relentless in your life, for your passion, for your dreams, for your success? Why not? Only you can answer that. Only you know it. But if you're not, let's make a change. And lastly, I think the biggest, probably the biggest ingredient to be a game changer, to live balls to the wall, to live life at your own risk and your own demands, take some risk. You know, what are you doing every day or what are you doing daily that makes you feel uncomfortable? That's taking a risk. I think about Richard Branson, right? You know, started Virgin, Virgin, Virgin Music Group uh, with, with acts 
that people thought he shouldn't really sign. He's in the forefront of new innovative, new ideas, new strategies, but he's a risk taker. Uh, he understands to succeed in life, to prosper in life, you have to take some risk. You have to get off your asset, as my uh, mentor James Malincheck says, and take some risk. The second one is, is Donald Trump, right? Talking about a guy who goes from, goes from billionaire to bankruptcy back to billionaire, right? That's by taking risk. You know, what risk are you taking for your success? And lastly, to sum it all up, to be a game changer, to be a game changer, to be absolutely crazy, living it, doing it, in and out, day in, day in and out, going after it, to be a game changer, you cannot, cannot be afraid to fail. You cannot be afraid to fail. In fact, in this world, failure does not exist. The instrument that you used just didn't work. You find a new one. You keep pushing forward. Failure in this world does not exist. Listen to me. It is your time. It's your turn, time to find success, to lay hold of it, to go do it, go achieve it, go be it, whatever it may be for you. But it's your time. Failure, not an option. You will get there. You will get there. You will get there. You will get there. Keep pushing forward. Keep staying motivated. Right? Keep being around great people to inspire you, motivate you, and push you. Right? And you can become the game changer in your life and in your world. As always, Corey Miner, so glad to serve you in Touchdown Studios. Remember, it is always your choice to get off the sideline and to get into the game. Remember, because Corey said you're good. Because Corey said you could. Hey, talk to you soon. Have a blessed one.